Funding cutbacks and declining airline passenger counts have hit rural airports hard in Minnesota. State leaders and airport officials met today in Bemidji, and Jamil Donath explains their campaign to save air services. In rural Minnesota, air service, like the Bemidji Regional Airport, provides access and business to the local economy. But funding cuts and declining passengers could be keeping these planes grounded. But the reality is aviation needs help in Minnesota. Members of the nonpartisan think tank Minnesota 2020 met with airport officials in Bemidji to discuss their report on the problems and need for policy change in rural aviation. Everybody who gets on a plane and a commercial flight in Minnesota, 98% of them are at MSP. And that is to the detriment of places like this fine airport. The group's proposal includes reducing aircraft purchase taxes and aviation registration fees. The 2020 officials say discourage companies from spending and increasing fuel taxes. Which have been stuck at five, no more than five cents a gallon since 1951. Despite the Bemidji Regional Airport losing its main carrier Delta, they're actually faring quite well in this economy. However, their goal is to educate other airlines about the success and significance of rural airports in Minnesota. Not to define the need we have for it, it should rather create to the airline why it would be successful for them to serve here. Delta Airlines pulled its services from several rural airports in Minnesota because profits weren't satisfactory. So those airports are having to reduce costs and promote business even more. We need to be focused as a region so that our local communities and our businesses are working together so we can maintain strong aviation links. And 2020 transportation officials say by simply being more effective with the money that is currently available, aviation can fly high in Minnesota. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The Minnesota 2020 report showed that in the last five years, small and medium airports lost up to 18% of their scheduled flights, while big airports only dropped by 2.3%. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.